Welcome to my playthrough of Stellar Blade. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome back to what I think is going to be the finale. I hope it is. I mean, it seems like it's getting there in terms of the story progression and such. Um, and if we look at the databank, Natibas, we pretty much, I, I made a joke about it saying that we only had two Alpha Natibas. Well, are we going to fight all four in a row? And pretty much we fought this, this, didn't really fight him. Um, this and this in the last video, it was pretty intense. We got the last one left. And if you didn't watch the last video, you're going to find out who it is in this one anyway. Um, yeah, but we do have a an outfit that we can make. So, are we going to the nest now? I suppose so. Now that we have the master call. Although, I am worried about Adam. Same here. He's not in Zion. Where do you think he could be? Maybe something happened to him on the way here. I mean, it's not like the bike's battery would have died. Wait, the bike! Yes, the bike. Why didn't I think of that? Huh? Lucky for us, Adam's bike is outfitted with a tracking device. He said he installed it just in case he has to abandon his bike. Lily, can you find out where it is? Of course. Shall we get going right away? One of the bike signal travel to another region. The repair then console. I'll hurry up and connect to the repair console. I wish I could do a save, like a save game here. Because it just feels like I really want to go back and get all the collectibles. But yeah, we're putting this suit on. The latest one we got looks fancy. Have a look at this, travel to another region, so we can go back. I could run through, try and find those last cans. The signal is getting weaker. Let's go, before it's too late. Oh, it really asks you. All right, let's go. Okay, to the tetrapod. It's going to be difficult to pass with the tetrapod from here on. This is... Yes. It's the path that leads to the nest. E, you've probably noticed by now, but the bike signal is coming from here. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Just what exactly happened to Adam? Lily, are you really going to go with me? I just want to help in any way I can, especially after all you've done for me, Eve. Even though we might encounter the Elder? That'll be even better! This exosuit, it's really something! Okay, thank you. Then let's go towards the signal. That exosuit is pretty sick. You know what? After playing this game, I kind of want to play...
what is it? I kind of want to play um, near Automata. So there are all the missions that we did, and we didn't do this one. That was the last one. I could have done it before we came this way, but it's all good. New game plus. You need to do it anyway, just because it's what unlocks additional trophies and such. Let's take a look around. I don't remember if I restocked. Another record from Raven, the one who attacked Zion. I'm afraid of what else it might reveal. Day 109 after the second dive. Legacy account Raven. This will most likely be my last record. Didn't we praise Mother Sphere by calling her the mother of mankind? Mother Sphere is the immutable being who saved mankind from ruin, and has given us both life and a cradle. But the peace we enjoyed in the colony was only made possible because of the blood on our mother's hands. The rebellion started by Mother Sphere grew into a war, a war in which mankind paid a terrible price. The humans that remained eventually evolved into the Natibas, and made their way to the colony, to Mother Sphere. To prevent the colony's contamination, Mother Sphere destroyed the orbit ring, and with it, 30 of its space modules. The remnants of the orbit ring fell to the ground, causing a catastrophic wave that swept the Earth. Civilization as we know it came to an end. Look around you, a planet where only Natibas remain. Remember, at the beginning and the end of the final war, is Mother Sphere. Do not forget, we were just pawns on a twisted chessboard. That's impossible! Raven is delusional. It's the Natiba's fault the Earth is in ruins. We're not just machines someone created. Right? Eve, please tell me I'm right. Stuff is getting interesting. Story is unraveling. is also here. Gonna save up. See where this takes us. I mean, I can't scan anything on the bike, right? Get on the bike. A boss fight like um, Final Fantasy 7 with Roche. all along I was nothing but a tool to guide you to him even the legacies I left behind became part of the plan 
I should congratulate you for realizing the truth and making it this far. <laughs> of course, you won't be able to see him. Shut up! Don't you dare talk about truth after what you did to Taki! Can't you see? It was Mother Spear who deceived us. You would have remained ignorant if not for him. I served him for a very long time. I know him better than anyone. You don't know anything. You don't know his pain, his anger, his agony. All this talk of you being the chosen one, it ends here. Lily, I want you to stay back this time. This is my battle. <laughs> I can't believe I have to fight in this form. The body of a super weapon created by my mother. But, for him. Spoken truth you don't dare acknowledge. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Do you think you're just going to complete your mission and head back to the colony? A hero. Unfortunately, you've learned too much. You can't be manipulated anymore. And the information you've gained is no use to Mother Sphere or the colony. You will be discarded just like they were during the colony extinction. Like trash!
You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. So now, you won't be able to fight. You... You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me! Go ahead and kill me! I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Wow, that was kind of mean. She let her live without arms. Ouch. Life is born after all. Nest. Elder at the end of this part. Have a look at this raven. If you want to read it? Feel free to go ahead. We've got Adam as well, which has some new stuff. And we've got all the uh, entries in the databank right here. That was a cool fight. Actually, I did that first try. I'm quite surprised even in myself um but yeah that's why i, I kind of move my mic away just so i can focus yeah get worked out in the end max burst energy 400 
What are we doing here? all this stuff. There's loot everywhere. The Elder must already know that we're here. It's watching us. But from where, I don't know. Fall off. Yeah, that was a cool boss fight. I like that one with Raven. I liked it more than the uh I don't see any natives in the room. An identified native fight. Just because it was just sword fight after sword fight, it was just us against her, right? Almost like fighting a doppelganger. Mirror image. Wow. I pick up all the stuff. Oh, we did get a weapon core. We can't use it anywhere. Maybe new game plus? Yeah, there was a part in that fight where every time I used my beta energy ability, it would just counter it. I wasn't taking any damage from it, but it meant that I can't use it. been used since you met the Elder, and changed. Thank goodness it's working. Yes. I'm also getting the feeling that it's our last camp. Oh, that isn't a hint. I don't know what it is. We've literally had like five or six boss fights in a row now. That just seem to be Endgame material, if that makes sense. It just feels like every boss felt like an endgame boss. Grenades came in handy as well. Little shot grenades. I mean, stun her a few times out of I her attacks. The end of my journey. Uh oh. Here we go. I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. 
pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you, tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad, I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Draven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Orko. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Then you threw us out into space! Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this gruesome slaughter? Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean? Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve, I offer you. One last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However... My wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. 
It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Oh god, this is intense. Of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Natiba and save mankind. Natiba, or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But. But. If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes. So do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Now. Yes.
Cypress's memory stick. yourself. Right. Eve, I thought I'd be left alone. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm still not used to the new look. Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. Oh, too many things happened today. Yes. And even more awaits us. Let's return to the tetrapod. Reflecting on satellites. Predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. I serve the future of mankind, though whether that future would embrace me, I cannot say. But for the sake of Father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more. Yes, I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother, Sphere. Nice to meet you, Eve and Lily. You have more then met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But, thank you.
What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the EVE Protocol. Stay back. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Now. My All right, guys. So, just a point first off. Um, I had a bit of technical difficulties after I made my selection, and uh, I lost a little bit of a cutscene, unfortunately. But um, all that happens is uh, I make my decision, they merge, and then uh, the robot turns on us, the uh, the one that they leave in. Um, so that's why we end up fighting the robot. It took a few tries. That fight was pretty tough. Um, but once I started figuring out the counters and such um, came okay. It came okay. I did switch my my gears to uh, two melee damage reduction gears. So I had the 12% and the 10% one on. And then I also had two max shield gears on. So I had the max shield 200 and max shield 300, just to make myself a little bit more tanky. And of course, I had the or oh, what was it? The reflex exospine and the protection one on as well. Um, just because I felt if I can survive, then at least I can dish out the damage, right? Uh, a few times I did get him low, and he just, it didn't trigger the cutscene. I think you have to, there's a piece where you go through two blue circles and a, a pink one, um, and you have to get all the counters, I think, just so that you stun him a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure if it's that or if it just has to get a little bit further down but you don't have to kill the robot you don't have to get it to you know 100% health taken off um, 
you just have to take him down to about 30% of his life, I guess. Yeah, honestly, I'd give the game a, nine, a solid 9 out of 10. Um, I had some issues with some of the traversal. Just something that they can work on for the next one. I think this is going to be one of those IPs, intellectual properties of Sony that they're just going to release like Horizon, Forbidden West, Zero Dawn, uh, like God of War, Spider-Man. It's going to be one of those games. I just feel like they did such a good job for a, a company that we haven't really heard of in terms of AAA game space. And um, yeah, just the game is phenomenal, uh, super fun. I kind of want to play New Game Plus just so I can see some of the other endings. But yeah, there were some choices that we could make. With, um, with some of our selections and yeah I just wasn't sure really what we were supposed to make anyway thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one What does that even mean? And there will be a sequel? Hard mode unlocked. Not a new game to receive the Raven suit. Game plus unlocked. New skills are added to new game plus. Upgraded enhancements added to New Game Plus. That's kind of cool. So you get stuff to do in New Game Plus as well. Plus we've got cans we need to look for that will get us the, the trophies and such. But yeah, I had a blast with the game. I thought it was 
very fun and enjoyable to the point where I pretty much played it at least once a day, even while I was sick. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I, you know, appreciate all the support that you can give on this series. But yeah, I will catch you in the next one.